Hello, it's Heather Smith here and I'm going to run you through the process of signing up for your free trial of Data Deer. So Data Deer sits between um, your online accounting solution, be it Xero or QuickBooks, and it connects you to uh, Microsoft Excel. So this is the Data Deer website. Um, and come over here and click on the green free trial option. And you're brought to um, this Try Data Deer page where you need to fill out your information. So you can see I filled out my information and you have here at this drop down option, you can tell uh, when you sign up that whether you're an accounting or bookkeeping firm, a business or um, you offer support to accounting firms. You can check the terms of use and privacy policy and click the box and click the green uh, sign up button here to sign up. I've received an email to advise me to um, activate your Data Deer account. And if I pull over, you can see this is the email. Um, activating your Data Deer account, you need to activate your account to access Data Deer. You're almost there. And I'm just going to click through Activate Account to activate the account. It now wants me to uh, enter a password. I've uh, entered a uh, password using LastPass, my password management solution. And I'm going to click Activate Your Data Deer account. And here we have uh, the Data Deer screen. And this is my account. Um, and it's saying, Welcome to Data Deer. So you can see that was actually really quite easy to sign up to. And it's advising us that we're three steps away from uh, properly using Data Deer. So thank you for trying out uh, the Data Deer Excel add on in Xero QuickBooks Online cloud accounting software. Data Deer facilitates the business of reports. With data, you can refresh directly from um, Xero and QBO. You can also post transactions back to Xero and QBO in bulk. So you're three steps away. First of all, we need to. Um, connect an organization, download and install Data Deer, and we have the option to invite a user. So the first thing I'll do is connect an organization. I've come here to the organization's dashboard and here I have the op option to add an organization. If I click on the drop down arrow, I have the option for QuickBooks or Xero. I'll select Xero here. And it takes me to uh, my Xero screen where I'll log in. So here you have the Data Deer Excel add-in. Um, would like to access your Xero data. And if I click on this drop down arrow, I can see all the organizations that I have access to. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I've done is select the demo company, the Australian demo company, and I'm going to select allow access. Uh, anyone who's using Xero has um, access to the Xero demo company. And that's AU means it's the Australian version. So you can see here the organization, the demo company organization has been added and it's giving me the date it was added, the currency, the base currency the file is in, it's never been used, um, daily limits and rows um, and it is advising that the daily limit for zero is 5,000 requests per day and interestingly the daily limit for QuickBooks is 15,000 uh, per day. So three times that, that's interesting. And it also uh, explains that rows is the number of rows that were downloaded from the organization using Data Deer. Um, so I guess that's once we start doing something with it, um, that will happen. So from here, I'm going to click back to home. And the next thing I need to do is download and install Data Deer. So I do actually um, have part of it sitting on my desktop computer. At the top here, um, it's giving me some information about the Excel add-in. And here, if I click this um, button here, um, the download uh, for PCs. Um, it does have further information there um, if you're running a server or virtualized environment, but I'm not, so I'm just going to download now for PCs. And you can see the download is happening here on the bottom left-hand side, which is probably typical for you as well. Um, that has now downloaded and I'll click on it. 
So here is my uh, wizard that's going to walk me through the installation. So hopefully you can see that it's going to install data dear Excel add in into uh, my computer. I'm going to click next. Um, I accept. I can print it off if I want. Click next and it's going to uh, the destination folder. You can see here is uh, my C drive. And I'm going to click finish. So now what I'm going to do is um, open up Microsoft Excel, click on um, a spreadsheet, just a blank workbook here. And you can see at the top here, it says data deer. So the plugin has installed into uh, my Microsoft Excel without me needing to do anything. However, over here, I uh, need to log in. So I actually need to log in to data deer to access it via Microsoft Excel. So I'll click on login and it pops up with my email and my password and I select the remember me and I um, click login. Now it takes a few seconds, but I now have live. You can see the menu bar and part of the menu bar is actually live. And um, I have the option to log out here, uh, select an organization, which is the demo company that uh, you saw me connect just a few set, a few moments ago. This is not currently live. From here, I can access the templates library. So let me click that and show you. This takes me back to the Data Deer uh, website. And here is the templates library. This is actually um, quite interesting. Um, you have here all, um, I might make this window a bit smaller. I've just made that window a bit smaller so you could see um, all the different options there. And if I scroll down this screen, these are lots and lots of different templates that you can access, which are quite easy. means that you can grab them um, and use them um, to assist you in auto-populating things that might be useful for you. And if necessary, um, they are categorized. I'm just scrolling to the top here. They are categorized. So you can click post. Um, you can click, I'll, I'll untick all. That's what I'll do. See if I can unclick all. There. Reports. The ones that are relevant for zero. The ones that are relevant for QuickBooks. Ones that uh, accountants might like system configuration ones, and uh, there's one there to help assist you with migration. So I just click back here into uh, Microsoft Excel. Here we haven't done anything yet, but uh, that would allow us to view our audit trail. Here we can add uh, new client organizations to Datadeer. We can add additional users if we are going to share the solution with other users. We're still using a trial, so this would allow us to upgrade from the trial. Uh, let's. Um, this would um, take us to a uh, the Data Deer web dashboard. So I think that just takes you the actual um, Data Deer web dashboard that we were at before. I click back into Excel there. Um, here I have notifications. So what this is doing is taking you back into Data Deer to see further information. So notifications from Data Deer. Clicking back in Excel. I have the option to report a problem to Data Deer um, about if I need to know um, about uh, further information about Data Deer and if I need to access help. That's excellent. So just a very simple and quick overview of the uh, active dashboard that you get instantly when you download Data Deer. And I just got to pop back into the dashboard. Oh, look, I can just do it this way. You can see I have various tabs open up across the front here, but I've popped back in um, and you do have the option, which I'm not going to do, but you do have the option to invite a user. So what I've done is I've logged in, uh, registered, signed up for a trial of Data Deer, um, and I've installed the add-in into Microsoft Excel. And you can see that was really, really easy. You can also see that I was able to add um, a zero organization very, very quickly. So um, you can, from start to finish, you could do that probably in about uh, eight to 10 minutes. Thank you for watching.